Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to reading for the week of December 25th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. And wow, uh, your reading is definitely the best so far. Uh, so you have the Ten of Hearts coming up first. Fortune after difficulty, so good things happening to you after a difficult period of time. Um, I actually don't feel like um, that's the main message here. I feel like this card's talking about loyalty um, and finding out people are loyal to you or finding out somebody is loyal to you at this time. I do feel like it'll be important for you at this time as well um, to, you know, to understand that, to know that. So for a lot of you, I feel like it could be in a relationship. For others of you, it could be, you know, in business or some other area of life. I also feel like this could be you attracting a lot of people at this time. There is a lot of good love stuff. Um, I feel like you you could be attracting people in love and I also feel like you could be just attracting people to you know other things about you as well like your business or you know um, something along those lines so it could be financial as well next you have the ace of diamonds I feel like some of you have already started a new a new journey uh, at this time especially financially uh, some of you might be starting new jobs or new businesses at this time seems like uh, a lot of people are right now um, you know, it, it makes a lot of sense. I think in the, I think moving forward that more and more people will be kind of doing their own thing as far as making money is concerned. Um, but I also feel like this card could be talking about commitments. Um, to me, this can be a card of marriage and even the 10 of hearts can be a card of marriage. So some of you might be getting married or you could be meeting a soulmate at this time uh, with this card. Next to the Five of Diamonds, I'd say if you're thinking about doing something, do it. This is a card that's like, just do it. Uh, it's kind of like the card of starting something new that you've wanted to start. Also an amazing card for selling things. I, I, I mean, I think you're kind of uh, touched by gold this week, just looking around here. I think you could, you know, if you need money, sell something. I think you could probably sell something you own that you don't need anymore or something like that. Uh, for others of you, if you're in sales, this is an amazing card. Um, or, and again, if you're looking for a job, this card says maybe you want to look at sales or doing something that involves selling something or promoting something. Uh, this is great for those of you who are in marketing as well. Uh, next year, the Seven of Diamonds. Um, a couple of people have been getting this card this week. A very intuitive card, I feel, this week. Um, I feel like a lot of people need to trust their intuition at this time. I, um, you know, again, I, I do feel like it could be just referring to intuition and uh, needing to focus on like messages that are coming to you in dreams and, uh, you know, even in your daydreams and things like that. You could be receiving a lot of uh, messages and things along those lines that could be, you know, leading you towards something. This card can also represent uh, a raise um, or um, receiving some sort of profit from something. So, uh, like I said, it looks like an amazing money week. To continue that message, you have the Nine of Diamonds. So, um, again, another card of profit and looking, you know, I say this is a card of profit and vision. It's a card of looking into the future to see how you can make more money. Um, so, I think that a lot of people will be focusing on that at this time as well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I would say mostly, I would say, you know, I think you should be looking into the future at this time and just kind of like planning out where you want to be in the near future as well. I think, I don't know, I'm getting something about time. I feel like things are going to move uh, very quickly or I think that you're going to feel like things are moving very quickly or something like that. So um, again, I think that uh, you need to, you know, think about speed and time at the beginning of the year here and how you're going to use it to your advantage. Um, for others of you, this can represent just a transformation this card is called the coffin and it's kind of like the death card so you can just represent some sort of transformation uh, in your life finally you have the nine of hearts getting something you want getting something you wish for like i said it is a it looks like an amazing week for you you have all these very positive cards um i would say that for some of you, you could be dealing with a long distance relationship as well uh two nines uh whenever you have nines like this you could be especially um a hearts nine like this uh, the nine of hearts you could be dealing with a long distance relationship or somebody uh, who is at a long distance at this time but um definitely looks like a great week uh, i have to say so uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week.